One of the evangelism strategies we use at Prince of Peace, because we're in an urban area and there are people who are walking down our sidewalk every single day, during the summer, we give away hot dogs. We have community cookouts where we give away hot dogs and drinks right on the front steps of the church as a way to have conversations with folks and let them know that there's more than just a building on this corner. Uh, and I met a young woman named Tina at one of those community cookouts. We didn't talk a whole lot. She took a hot dog and, and a drink and took off. I, I uh, talked to her once very, very briefly on, on the sidewalk. And uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't sure what to make of, of Tina. I'm not sure if I've even told Tina this, but I wasn't sure, my, my initial reactions, I wasn't sure what to make of, of Tina and her family. But they came to our haunted house that year, and something happened where she misplaced her wallet. And she came back into the congregation, and uh, Betty Rabenstein, a longtime member of Prince of Peace, uh, just took Tina under her wing and became Tina's best friend that night. And uh, when Tina found her wallet, she told Betty that she found her wallet, and Betty said, we'll see you in church on Sunday. And Tina's, uh, Tina's only missed Sundays since then when she's had to work. Uh, Tina is so someone who's been struggling with, uh, um, she personally has not struggled with substance abuse herself, but a lot of substance abuse in her family. And uh, she, when there's somebody close in your family who has serious issues with substance abuse, it really affects the quality of work of all the other family members. Tina has not been able to hold steady, a steady job for a long time. She's educated in the Philadelphia school system, and uh, I'm, I'm always amused when I read emails from her because she spells everything phonetically. And she even spells it with her Philadelphia accent, Frequently, U is spelled Y-O-U-S, because it's U's in Philadelphia. Um, uh, Tina joined Prince of Peace about two years ago. Uh, she is, uh, her, her face was completely covered in acne when she was, uh, uh, when she came here, because there was so much stress in her life about what was going on at home. Um, I helped Tina's husband, Jimmy, uh, connect to a great job at St. John Lutheran Church as their custodian, and they absolutely love Jimmy there. And he's able to work 30 hours a week at St. John Lutheran Church. Um, Tina has entered uh, college. She's in an online university now. Uh, and we were able, through our community organizing efforts, we've connected her to the Philadelphia Protestant Home, uh, their vice president, Daphne Floyd, came to a community organizing action at Prince of Peace, where Tina got up and told her story of struggling with substance abuse in her family and struggling with employment. Daphne Floyd gave Tina a job at the end of the community organizing action. Tina and Jimmy have just moved into their first house. In about three years, Tina and Jimmy went from being that couple who was walking through snowstorms trying to get high or trying to at least make sure the one who's getting high is going to be safe at 3 o'clock in the morning, not being able to hold down a steady job. And they came to Prince of Peace and felt loved, felt welcomed, felt there's, there are people here who are looking out for their best interests. There are people here who actually want who actually care about them, want to find them employment, want to find them good employment, care about their education, uh, care about their personal relationships. And instead of walking through Kensington in three feet of snow at three o'clock in the morning, um, Tina and Jimmy have just moved into, uh, into a house um, for the first time in their lives. If that's not relevant, I don't know what is relevant.